notified. Um, so I did mention it's in the last video, but I think it's really worth a view of its own. The quality's not great here, but as long as you can hear me. And that is the veteran journalist Peter Sissons has passed away at 77 in Maidstone. Um, Peter Sissons, I think it's fair to say, is one of the, was one of the most familiar faces in, in British journalism. He was one of the pioneers at ITN, and he also worked on the BBC and briefly on Question Time. I'd always known Peter Sissons as an anchorman, um, but I didn't realise, and this was covered in some of the reports, that early in his career, uh, whilst working as a frontline journalist, he covered the Six-Day War. He also covered the Biafra War in Nigeria, and he was actually shot on duty. Uh, he survived, but that's a reminder of the dangers frontline journalists face. I used to read autobiographies of people like John Snow, John Sargent, um, Kate Eddy, Gavin Hewitt, Martin Bell, and other prominent journalists, and they really are eye-opening. You know, these people witness history. So after um, being shot and by Afra, um, Sissons established himself as one of Britain's top anchormen, and uh, he secured a lot of high-profile interviews with Michael Foote, with Margaret Thatcher and others. And um, he was always, I think, known for his professional style and um, as, uh, as a proud son of Liverpool. Um, and I think he's sort of, in a, in a way, as old school. This was a journalist who, I'm sure he had his own opinions on things, but he always just delivered. He always reported the news. And that was an era where there was far less punditry. Um, I've just seen an interview with uh, um, Hugh Edwards discussing how, as a young mentor to Peter Sissons, he was always great company. He could be strict at times to um, new journalists, but he was always professional and always great company. As um, Hugh Edwards put it, he always enjoyed the, the long Fleet Street lunch, which was sort of a tradition. Um, Back at university, when I studied journalism, we used to have lunches and uh, kind of reminded me of that. But, you know, long beer fueled lunches. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's sad news. He was one of Britain's top journalists and definitely, you know, part of a generation that is now getting older. Others of that generation, of course, Sir Trevor MacDonald, uh, Moira Stewart, people like that. Um, so he'll be missed. Uh, I do think we're getting into an era now of more punditry, and I'm not sure I like that American-style punditry. And I'm not saying there isn't good journalists still around. I believe there are, but it's definitely a different era. Um, so rest in peace, Peter Sissons.